Alright guys, welcome back to your 26th CSS and XHTML tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be styling some tables. It's going to be nice. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So let's go ahead and make a table. Let's go ahead and make like uh, two rows and three columns. Nice and simple. So table and of course you need one of those. So ending table and let's just go ahead and uh, make our rows first. Table row, tur and a nice little tur right there and let's just go ahead and add our cells table data ending table data and what are we going to put in here I love Bucky and just go ahead and copy this so it gives us three columns so now we have a table with one row and three columns in it so if we want another row to be lazy just go ahead and copy this and paste it right underneath there so now if we save this and take a look at it here is our table right there if you highlight it you can kinda of see uh, the rows and columns easier so we have two columns I mean excuse me two rows three columns looking pretty good so now we're looking at this table and we already know how to add a border but I mean border I mean come on we can do a little bit better than that so let's go ahead and style this up and uh, you know make it nice and fancy so let's go ahead up in here up in here up in here y'all gonna make me alright anyways enough of me singing let's go ahead and first of all we wanna style the overall table and whenever we do this the entire table is gonna be affected so later on well you'll see what happens later on so let's go ahead and um, just give this overall border we'll use that shortcut so we don't have to define each one individually just make it like three pixels um, solid blue so let's go ahead and save this refresh and see what we got so now around the entire table we have a border that's three pixels it's solid and it's blue exactly what we expected but now what if we want to do something a little bit fancier what if we want to say alright I want to change these rows individually to uh, I don't know with a background of yellow or something and then even furthermore I want to take each individual cell and around each individual cell I want to add a border so we have six individual box looking things well actually it is possible to do that in CSS so let me go ahead and show you guys um let me go through and do that for you guys and then I want to go over a few things so let's go and for our table row what I say background color yellow not yellow yellow that's a yellow better yellow you there get it answering the phone that's yeah, pretty corny joke anyways so now if we go ahead and save that check it out refresh and now the entire row is yellow and this row is yellow too I mean why wouldn't it be so let's go ahead and take that table data which is of course the individual cells and what I say like add a border so border equals two picks um, not solid we already use solid dashed red so let's go ahead and save this and refresh it and see what we get we get a nice two pixel dashed red border across each one of these cells and the thing I wanted to mention is this even though we have a style applied to each individual piece of data and also a style applied to each row whenever you apply a style to the individual pieces of data it doesn't override um, the table row the table row stays and the table data gets inherited so by that I mean here's what I'm trying to say whenever you make your table row yellow and then you make your table data whatever you want it doesn't replace the table row since you did this everything gets inherited down so whatever you did to the table gets affected on the whole table whatever you did to the table row gets affected in the table row and the table data and whatever you do to the table data affects only that table data I mean I probably just confuse you guys even more by saying all that but I mean if you just look at what's going on you can understand how it works in that it's not really overwriting anything it's just adding to it 
that's I guess a more simple explanation so anyways that is the basics of how you style a table and check it out this is a lot better than you know just adding a border to the table now you can do stuff like this and make your table a lot more easier to read and uh, just give you the idea that you can in fact style tables just like any other XHTML element so anyways thank you guys for watching uh, go have fun styling your tables and uh, when you're ready I'll see you in the next tutorial